So I'm working on my food truck, micro food truck and camper van, and I'm installing the renewable power. So here's the solar panels are installed, and what's next? Well, I punched, put it through the roof. Now, two things that you have to figure out is number one, where it's gonna go. And what I decided was, down under here, there's a little space under here, makes perfect for the um, power and, and the MPPT and everything else. So that's where I'm gonna stick it. So then, obviously now, it's routing. And what I did was, I took some old jumper cables that I had and cut them. And now, I'm routing them together. And because I'm doing it in the parallel, basically, I have the two parallel things. Now, I have them out because I was just testing the power and the power does work. Um, you know, I do have power coming through here. So now what I'm gonna do is route them under into the cap. And then basically from here, the power cable is gonna go up under here into here into where the batteries, two of the batteries are gonna be in here third battery is going to be under there. So I've ordered basically um, a tool that's going to allow me to run three batteries on my car and it's not, it's going to ensure that I don't kill the alternator um, and it will cut off one of the batteries. Um, so this is, that's the plan. I, it's, I can't think what it's called right now, um, but that's what I've installed. The other thing I've ordered, I've ordered basically a comban, a flyer, uh, a banner, two of them. They're going to go basically on the car and it's just going to be images. So people are going to see and they're going to see all, oh, they're going to see like omelets and coffee and, you know. Um, um, I don't think I'm going to do any words. So I just want it to be kind of like, hey, this is a food truck. <laughs> just go on the side or just go right on the side and people will see it come around here and I have my shelving set in I showed that in the other video but I have one shelving that comes up here another one that extends inward down here and they tie onto this here um, I may have to do this one I tried to do the bolts differently and these did not take I had the nuts on the inside so I'm probably gonna take this off do the same thing put the bolts in this way um, at least I need at least I think one bolt I don't know if I actually need it because it's pretty much in there on two. Having a, just one more in here would be better. I mean, I went overkill here. This thing isn't moving at all. So, that's it. We're coming along here. So I've got the, you know, uh, where I'm going to work. I just got to get the power going. And ultimately, I'll have most of that done today. And I can actually test it with the batteries charging and, and having and maybe even trying to see how long I can cook in here and do some okonomiyaki testing. It's So I have the MPP hooked up, it's actually powering the battery. I'm going to hook up this um, 
inverter, 3000 watt inverter. I've got another one coming, it's much bigger than what I need. This uh, MPPT is actually good for 300 watts, 300 volts, and I have 200 volts, and another 500 coming from um, wind. So I thought about maybe putting <laughs> a little thing charging too, a little wind, wind thing that I can pop up. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet or if I'm going to do it, but uh, I do have an option to connect uh, wind power and I get 500 watts from that too coming in here. So now let's tuck it under. One of the questions actually I do have is do I connect the inverter to the MPPT or do I connect the inverter directly to the battery? And I'm thinking I do the battery only because the inverter does detect the range of the battery even though there is an outlet here which ultimately I could use. So there's another outlet here for DC power that I could use um, maybe even for the front inverter or something. Who knows? Uh, I'm not sure what I should do here but right now I'm going to connect this directly to the battery. Alright just testing this is basically a 400 watt um, drill piece 100 volts 400 watts and you can see here put a load on this The initial, um, do this way here. The initial load. Holy, the battery's already up. Now that's. Obviously, I'm able to use a pretty heavy duty power tool with a 3000 watt inverter on that. On there, show my neighbor. Finally removed. So, here is the secondary battery hooked up. And I've actually labeled stuff here. Things I really recommend you doing. Go ahead and take the time to cover your reds and stuff if you're new. And it's just ensure. So this is my inverter positive. This is my parallel positive, my inverter negative, my parallel connection negative, my MPPT. And you're probably where's the negative? Where's the positive? Well, the positive is coming here off this battery. Now what I'm thinking about doing too is probably I should have, I've got the negative inverter here probably should have the positive inverter on this here. So basically what I'm doing is drawing energy off the two batteries um, instead of drawing everything off this one. The inverter is basically going to be pulling off this one instead of pulling off this one and this one. Make sense? So by putting the invert on this on this one here, um, you know, have the, PP, the, uh, the positive and the negative on two different batteries. So basically the idea there is you got the power coming coming in here uh, charging these batteries. And here's an interesting thing that I'm doing is I'm using these um, MPP4s, MC, uh, MC4s. These are the inner, the connectors and you know using them as a multiple connector to the battery um, you know on it. So um, I think that should be fine. I don't think batteries it just kind of clears things up. You don't have a lot of stuff like on it everything's coming off it I hope these wires up to you know keep an eye on these wires run it and make sure these wires aren't getting too hot which I don't think they should be so yeah I'm really tempted to add here see all I need to do the cool thing here is add this to that there 
and then basically I can add the inverter positive. So I have the inverter negative on this battery and the inverter positive on this battery. Um, so the power is going through the two. So I went ahead and added an inverter positive and PPT positive. And um, I can just switch this inverter here and plug it right into there. I really like these NC4 connectors. It means I can basically unplug this battery, take it out, and um, you know, um, and actually, if I plug this in there, then I'm not having to, you know, uh, switch it out. I don't know if it's having the MPPT, pull, uh, you know, the juice going in there and the inverter pulling. You know, I'm tempted to think I want it on two different negatives on it. So I'm going to leave it like this right now and see if I can finish up the connection to the inverter. Right here. So next I've got these cables here. I should label these cables here so I know what they are. That's what I'm going to do next.